Hello, this is Earl with No Shore Office Equipment. Today we're going to show you how to scan to a USB flash drive. We're going to show you how to do this on a CopyStar 4002. First thing you want to do is get your USB drive and then look for the port. On this model, the port's on the side here, so we're going to plug in the USB drive. So once you put the USB drive in, you're going to get this screen pop up that wants to know if you want to recognize the thumb drive. So then you say yes, and then you're going to go to store file. So after you hit store file, you're going to put your originals either on the glass or in the document feeder, and then push the start button. After storing the file, you're going to hit the back to list button, and then you'll see the file has been saved. If you would like to change the settings before scanning the document, you can change the color option from full color to black and white. You can also change the scan resolution up to 600 dpi. We can also go into functions right here and we can change uh, several things here. You can change your original size if it's something small, you can tell it exactly what size it is, or even uh, the ledger paper, and say okay. We can also go to the second uh, window here. This is a function that a lot of customers use. They go to name the file. So you can go here on the file name, and instead of just naming it doc, and have the job number and the time and date, you can actually delete that. And you could name it whatever you would like. Let's just say test. So we're going to name it test. We're going to say OK. At that point, you can get rid of the job number if you'd like. You can get rid of the date. Usually, I like to keep the date on it just so I know that that's the one that I'm sending it to. And at that point, to save that, you would just say OK. And then same thing. At that point, you would just put your original on the glass or in the document feeder and hit start. So you notice this time when we go back to the list, the document will be saved and the name will be test and then the date and the time. So what you always need to remember to do is when you finish is to go back to list and then push the button that says remove memory. Just like with a computer, you always have to tell it before you pull the USB drive out.